A dream of a global caliphate blood moon number no. 3 delivered to messenger Gwendolyn Ricks on March 27, 2015 Words from Yeshua HaMashiach During the evening hours of March 27, 2015 the Lord delivered to me a very brief yet powerful dream regarding a global caliphate. Within the dream there were innumerable Muslims lining up to register to fight on behalf of Allah and once they signed up they were given red scarves to tie around their right arms. I also sensed in this dream a spirit of oppression and fear as the Muslim leaders were pushing every single Muslim man and woman to sign up for this jihad, holy war. Within the dream I was actually standing at the Temple Mountain in Israel and there were tables lining the outer court of the mosque. I also remembered during my dream saying to myself, this is also how Hitler led the Holocaust by lining the Jews up and having them register and tracking their every move. I wondered if there was any correlation to this jihadist movement even though they had come to Jerusalem voluntarily. End of dream. My dearest child, please take your Lord and Savior's words at this time. I want to explain this most significant dream and what it means as this blood moon number no. 3 approaches. My child. Remember when I taught you about the true meaning of the blood moons and that the event does not have to correspond specifically upon the exact date as the blood moon, but within a 30-day time frame? My child, this is one of the events that will actually take place secretly across the globe. A global caliphate is beginning around the time of this blood moon number 3 and it will not be broadcast publicly. I know that you are always looking to the signs of the times and even though this event is underway, it will not be known worldwide except to the Muslims during their call to prayers. I would like to take this time to use your special gift of hearing my voice my child to have all the children of God waging their own spiritual war on their knees in prayer. The more of my children that are crying out to me, the more supernatural suppression of this event will be. It is a sad day here and my heavenly is to contemplate the closeness of the enemy to the borders of my holy land. It is a hard reality that this global caliphate will occur, and once it begins it will sweep across the land unless the children of God take a stand both militarily and spiritually by crying out to me and my father. I have asked many of my children to begin fasting and praying more intently now as the stakes are so very high. I want my children to learn to die to their flesh each and every day in order that their prayers will be more powerful. Remember in my holy word it states, It is not by might, not by power, but by my spirit says the Lord of hosts. The best way to wage a holy war as my children is by sincere fasting and praying. I love you all, my most precious children. Yeshua HaMashiach please prepare your hearts in complete righteousness and holiness in full repentance as we all prepare the way for the coming of the Lord.